What's going on YouTube? This is Inventory King at Inventory King on Instagram and at www.thecyclitshack.com or by emailing jlargo20 at gmail.com. Use the code Inventory King and you guys are going to get 10% off. James just did a uh, upload on YouTube with his current stock list. A lot of buttes out there guys. Go uh, get your opportunity to fill your tanks with high quality African cichlids. So I'm coming at you guys with part two of the tank restoration. We did uh, in part one, I did the uh, sanding and prepping and in part two, it's gonna be the polishing. Um, FYI, when we are going through this video, there's a few spots where it's slow, but for the most part, it's all gonna be at about 16X speed. So <clears throat> watching the whole video is going to uh, not take a long time, but it's going to give a perspective of how I did it. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys. So um, I'm going to have to start off with um, wiping down the tank because uh, it's been sitting in the garage. It got a bit dusty, um, but as you can tell, it's still it's all hazy. I mean, you can kind of see through the other side, but it's hazy. So we're going to polish this thing. Uh, what I'm going to be using is uh, these uh, foam uh, polishers. I'm not going to be using the bonnet that's on there. When you take the bonnet off, it's just foam. I'll be using that with this electric drill and then obviously your microfiber cloths and use my gloves. Where you just, I don't like getting stuff on my hands. And then uh, inside here, we got the Novus kit, which uh, we will be using get this thing scratch free come back coming back at you guys shortly Okay, so first step is we're gonna use the heavy scratch remover. This is gonna be the first step with uh, electric drill and this foam pad that I took the uh, bonnet off. So we're gonna go ahead and start on the inside and then move our way to the outside. Alright guys, so uh, step one is complete. Um, I my battery died on the camera, so haven't you know had to charge it. So we got inside and out done with the uh, um, number three uh, heavy scratch removal. As you can see, it's made a huge difference already. Uh, time to do the next part.
Alright guys, battery's about to die, but not sure if you can tell, but it is clear. That stuff you see is on the bottom. Let's do this test. Got this side done, so I'm gonna go ahead and charge the battery, finish it, and then once it's all done and wiped down, we'll take a look at it again. Alright guys, so it's finished. Uh, you know, nothing perfect, but a huge, huge improvement over what it was as you can see right here you know a little bit of haze a little bit of you know shine I mean that's stuff I could touch up later but look how clear it is compared to what it was before in the beginning of the video look at that you can see straight through this thing no problems there's the top I mean it looks almost see-through let's actually get a, get a look here Look at that. I don't see no scratches, do you? It's not focusing on my hand great, but it came out quite well. Except for, you know, again, some of this, a little bit of the haze, but when the water's in there, you're not gonna see that. The biggest uh, part is the, all the, the majority of the scratches is out. I would say that this was a successful project. And, uh, I mean, you guys, look at this. Look how clear it is. Some minor, some minor things, but uh, again, you can see straight through this. So anyway, yeah, it came out really well. Used the foam polishing pad with the Novus system, uh, sanded it. Uh, you know, again, I'm, uh, I'm happy I did it. It's a big project, uh, a lot of risk, but it came out great. And uh, this just means the fish are that much closer to their new home, which actually the tank is gonna go on that wall. So I brought it in here so the uh, cat doesn't climb on it in the garage and doesn't collect any dust. I'm gonna be covering it up with blankets and just so nothing scratches it if the cat comes inside and just don't want it to get uh, ruined. But again, this is about the only issue. It's just a weird glare. Uh, as you can see, it's following it from the light. But uh, when you come this way, seriously, look at that. You can't even tell. Came out really good. So yeah, guys. So there you have it, guys. We got uh, the tank polished up. Again, it's not perfect, but once the water's in there, you're not gonna see any of that. Got the majority of the scratches and the haze out. Um, big project. Uh, I was talking to someone, actually my brother, he's like, it takes balls to uh, attack something like that as far as doing an acrylic restoration with the material and just how big and investment. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm happy with the way it turned out. I know uh, as soon as we get that water in there, it's going to absolutely shine and be beautiful and the fish are going to pop and once I get the background going. so. That means that these guys are one step closer to their new home. So uh, everyone, thanks for watching this video. Uh, please leave your comment down below. Please like the video. Please share the video. And please subscribe to my channel. Um, would love to keep giving content to all my subscribers and new newcoming subscribers. Um, also, um, don't forget, uh, like stated before, at thecichlidshack.com or you can email jlargo20 at gmail.com. When you give them the code Inventory King or you use Inventory King on the website checkout, you guys are going to get 10% off your order of fish and products. Lots of beautiful fish. Uh, those of you who follow my channel know that uh, I have a good amount of fish from the Cichlid Shack. Uh, the Taiwan Reef you see in the left corner, the Tetrastigma, the Otter Point, the Phoenix coming in by the Albino, the 
Electric Blue Ali. Um, what else we got here? Ivory Head Meloto on the corner. I mean, these guys are all from the Cichlid Shack. I mean, look at the finish on that Otter Point coming in the middle right there. Look at the fins. It's just stunning. And then the left corner there, you see that Tetra Stigma. Look, look, look at them. Look at his fins. Look at his color. Just absolutely stunning. Uh, so yeah, guys, go hit them up. 10% off when you use Inventory King. And uh, fish on.